Franklin D. Roosevelt was the 32nd president of America, and the only president to serve more than two terms. He led the nation out of the Great Depression and towards victory in World War II. He was born on January 30, 1882, in Hyde Park, New York. He came from a wealthy New England family of landowners and businessmen, and was a distant cousin of Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th U.S. president. Franklin D. Roosevelt died on April 12, 1945, age 63, in Warm Springs, Georgia. The career of Franklin D. Roosevelt included the roles of lawyer, politician, and statesman. He received an excellent education attending Harvard College and Columbia Law School. He became the 32nd President of America in 1933 and served for 12 years until 1945. Franklin D. Roosevelt married Anna Eleanor Roosevelt on March 17, 1905. Eleanor preferred to be called by her middle name. She was the fifth cousin once removed to her husband and the niece of President Theodore Roosevelt. Eleanor and FDR had six children. FDR was stricken with a paralytic illness in August 1921, 16 years after his marriage, which resulted in permanent paralysis of his legs, which was believed to be polio. Franklin D. Roosevelt belonged to the Democrat political party. He was 51 years old when he was inaugurated as the 32nd president. Inauguration is a president's swearing-in ceremony. He was the only president to serve for four terms and the only president who was confined to a wheelchair, although he concealed his paralysis from the public as much as possible for political reasons. Garner and Wallace stood as vice presidents. Franklin D. Roosevelt was 6 feet 2 inches in height and weighed approximately 182 pounds. He had brown hair, gray-blue eyes, and a fair to ruddy complexion. During World War II, President Roosevelt served as Commander-in-Chief of the United States Armed Forces. He enjoyed saving stamps, not for their value, but because of their link with geography and history. Franklin Roosevelt was the first president to have his own airplane. Some of the major events which occurred during his presidency were the FDR New Deal policies that brought about the beginnings of a national recovery. He was president during World War II, which lasted from 1939 to 1945. When Pearl Harbor was attacked in 1941, the U.S. entered the war. He was instrumental in the Yalta Conference in February 1945, where Roosevelt, Stalin, and Churchill planned the final stages of World War II and agreed to the territorial division of Europe. During his life, Franklin D. Roosevelt suffered from various illnesses, including hypertension, hemorrhoids, a sebaceous cyst, and angina. In 1921, Roosevelt contracted polio at the age of 39 years old. President Roosevelt died of cerebral hemorrhage on April 12, 1945, during his fourth term as president. He died at the Little White House in his cottage at Warm Springs, Georgia, the rehabilitation center for the treatment of polio that he had founded. He was buried in the Rose Garden at his estate in Hyde Park. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Franklin D. Roosevelt, who led the nation out of the Great Depression and towards victory in World War II. The next U.S. president was Harry S. Truman. This video is one of a series covering all of the American presidents and has been created by www.facts-about.org.uk as a free educational resource. This unique collection of videos has been developed to enable students to gain a fast overview of the lives of each of the U.S. presidents, together with the key events which occurred during their presidency. Discover the range of videos that are available on the Facts About website and use them as a fast, dynamic learning aid which will add variety to conventional study methods and help to increase knowledge retention.